why they should put cold milk in hot tea? Where's the logic of that? You're not supposed to put milk because it has water already. I bought a classical tea and I put milk on it and I was like, no, this is not for me. I cannot drink this. I cannot imagine even drinking that. For me, tea is tea, milk is milk. It's two different things. When my colleagues uh, ask me whether I want tea with milk, I'm like, no, I'm fine. Can I have just water, please? <laughs> It's, it's different, but I love the idea of putting milk in the tea. It looks tastier. It's sweet. I like it. They are not going to call you later. <laughs> they just say so. At the beginning, I was like, see you later. Like, everybody's saying see you later. And I, I, you know, for me, this means see you later, that I will meet you later. When I was studying in an English school, uh, this teacher of mine said, uh, after an, we had a social activity, and then... He was going back home and he said, see you later. And I said, oh yeah, why, where do we go? And he was like, I'm going back home. They said, but you said, see you later. And he said, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, well, see you another time. Ah, okay. It takes me like one week to understand that it means actually goodbye. I'll see you later, maybe not, not later, maybe tomorrow morning or next week, but not later. Why people put a lot of X's in the final sentence? I don't know why, seriously. When I saw the X for the first time, I had no idea what that meant. But now I know it's a kiss. I still have no idea what does it mean. I see people putting it, I put it as well. I asked my, my friend, what is a, a lot of X here? And she said, oh, they send you kisses. And I said, why kisses? Why? They should be laughing off my sentence, not send me kisses, you know, there's no sense. I thought that there is a, some construction mistake or something when I saw it for the first time, like, I'm completely serious. I just went at my new home and I just looked at that and I was like, no way. But then I saw it in a few other places and it was like, wow, maybe this is the British style. One for warm and one for cold. So sometimes I'm like, Oh my god, no, no, this is too, too hot, this is too cold. How, how do we do now? Oh my goodness. The hot is too hot, it burns you, and the cold is way too cold. It should be a mix. When I brush my teeth, for example, I'm like putting a bit of the hot one and then a bit of the cold one. So I'm doing this like all the time. You actually could burn your hands and at the next, your hands will freeze. So for me, that's completely strange. It's summer, but it's cold. <laughs> it's really weird. Sometimes in the same day has sun, has cold, it's raining, and you don't know if you have to put a jacket or you can go outside with a skirt. You don't know what to choose, you know. For 15 minutes, you can actually see four seasons. There are so many girls that when I feel cold, I'm freezing, they feel like, oh, it's very warm. There are 15, 15 degrees outside. And where I work, inside there is the air conditioner on. And I'm like, I'm freezing, sorry, could you please turn it off? Because otherwise I'm going back home and I will have temperature. And I don't want to take antibiotics. This is the most confusing thing ever. I always get confused on which side I should look on, left, right, or... Every time when I call a taxi, I always go to the driver's place because in my country, this is actually the place I, I'm supposed to go. So this is kind of complicated. That was the most dangerous thing when I came into the UK for the first time. I even had an incident the first few days I was here. I was walking down the street and I almost got run over by a car because I couldn't remember which side I was supposed to be looking at. Just tell me the truth. When you see me, you see crime.